Yeah, so, so we switched the curvature around this time. Um, so, so, I mean, simplistically, the kind of, the, the ideal cabinet is, is a kind of spherical form, if you like. So, and if you've got two base units, you can't have a spherical form. So, effectively, previously we had a square fronted cabinet with chamfered edges, which was pretty good. But acoustically, the drive unit sees those edges, so you get a small amount of diffraction from the edges, which isn't ideal. Having the, the kind of the, the pods that we have around the, the, the base drivers, that minimises the frontal area. And now we have, have a curved fronted cabinet. We get pretty much the zero diffraction off that cabinet surface. It's also extremely stiff as well. So for, for effectively the, what's going on behind the base unit is pressurisation and depressurisation of, of the enclosure. And by having a, a curved shape there, we've got something that's a pressure metal. It's much more resistant to the pressure loading. That in conjunction with very much augmented matrix inside and the kind of the steel structures we got in there means it's both you know, very stiff, very inert. We've got low diffraction, a, a minimal acoustic impact from the cabinet itself. We're here in the drive units and, they, and that's why they effectively they disappear in space.